A place of peace disturbed by alleged thieves. Surveillance cameras capturing this at the Cambodian Buddhist temple of Cincinnati. Two men and two women breaking in. They just kind of go through, ransack everything, flipping bed and open the drawer, cabinet and all that stuff. Before getting inside, the group is seen going back and forth between a window and a door on the side of the building, attempting to pry them open with a tool. After five relentless minutes pushing and prying, they fall inside. Temple leaders say they got away with the monk's money and donations. Some of the personal money that the monk left in his room for his personal use and emergency use, a lot of people donate for him to him for personal use, so he just left in there, he didn't take it to the bank. Chanty Chen says it happened while the monk was at the library. The temple believes the group was strategic. They say that this alleged break-in happened just a couple of days after they had hosted a fundraiser. The temple believes at least a few thousand dollars were stolen. Chen believes the temple is the latest victim of an international crime ring. That I don't really feel like mad at them or something like that. I just feel like this needs to be stopped because they're doing, they've been, this thing has been going on all over the state over years now, not just uh, recently. The group he's referring to is called Roma. Lieutenant Andrew Saw, a detective in Montgomery County, Maryland, knows the group well. So in the last approximately about a year, we've had about seven that they targeted uh, religious institutions for burglaries. In April, a Buddhist temple in Silver Spring, Maryland, was robbed of $20,000. Sa says the crime ring is somewhat decentralized. There's lots of little groups. Um, some communicate, some don't communicate, some don't know who they are, even if they're operating in the same region. Do you think it's possible that this ring could have made its way down here to Cincinnati, Ohio? I can't say for certain, but they are highly mobile. So they'll hit an area for a little bit. If the heat gets too hot, then they move to the next area. So Chen hopes this serves as a warning to other Buddhist temples in Ohio and beyond. From breaking news to feel good stories, Local 12 has it all. Tap subscribe and hit the links to find out more.